welcome to CQ Stadium and welcome to Maryland Terrapin football. Watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Forgates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich at the Jacklich Law Group. <laughs> Good evening from CQ Stadium. We're celebrating turtles on our heads tonight. Maryland is 5-0. They're all over Indiana. Leah is absolutely lethal through the air. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Mason Viner. Mason, what'd you see out there? Yeah, the Terps rolled. Um, got out early. Quick start from it. A little bit some special teams errors today that we haven't seen so far uh, yet this season, but really, really solid end-to-end -end performance, which is what everybody has been looking for from this team. Leah gets it started with Ty Felton. Felton ends up with three touchdowns. Leah runs one in. We had a touchdown from an unlikely source. The tight end Wade, his first catch is a turp probably. It was an all-around offensive performance, not so much on the ground. And, of course, the defense continues to do what the defense does which has just shut down the opposition. Uh, when you look at these Terrapin weapons, when it's working, by goodness, they can move that ball. Yeah, I think you're seeing a team that can really compete with anybody in the country if they play the game the way they did today. Quick, decisive decision-making from the quarterback. Uh, a little bit lacking in the running game today, but ultimately, that is a hard offense to stop when they're moving the ball both over the middle of the field and getting those deep balls in on the outside. A couple of just those little things that you want to correct, but we'll see what Locks has to says has to say about that. Um, but the, th this was the game that I think everybody was looking for from this team, and it couldn't have come at a better time as they head to Columbus next week. Yeah, absolutely. I asked for five and zero back in over the summer. We get to five and zero. We get some silly hats to wear. It's nice that they hand out some turtle heads and some red and white pom poms to the students. You see some pictures here. The crowd was actually packed in here. It started to have a big game feel. And 5-0, and look, Maryland has no control over how good the teams are that they scheduled. You didn't know Virginia was ever down here. You couldn't have predicted Michigan State was going to fire their coach. You didn't know that Indiana was being headed down instead of up. Ohio State's a real game. That's next week at noon. We'll talk about that future after this word for the big dog himself and from Viner Forgates, your local Terrapin IT hometown technical support group. The biggest difference in a truck accident versus a car crash is the investigation that the lawyer has to do right from the beginning of the case. Number one is obtaining the log books of the driver to show that the driver was not rested properly according to federal law. Uh, investigating through the black box and getting an expert to figure out from the black box of the truck, the speed of the truck, or where the truck had been. So it's just different type of handling. Usually you have catastrophic injuries involved with tractor trailers as well. You have a massive, heavy vehicle that strikes a much smaller vehicle, you're going to have more massive injuries. So it's a different ball game. And if people are injured in a truck crash, they really, really need to find a lawyer that knows what he's doing with truck crashes. Get the best flag in the entire freaking world. With Viner Four Gates, you've heard the phrase, we make your company work. What that means to us is that we take care of every ticket, every call, all the time. If you're tired of waiting on hold for tech support, or it takes too long for your tech support company to get back to you in an email, try Viner Forgates, where making your company work is our primary mission.
pass intended for Aaron Steinfeld is incomplete. Defending on the play. Back here, still celebrating the 44 points on that scoreboard. Uh, a nice night to do it, and it, it felt like football tonight. So it, it's, a, it's a good feeling here as we wait for the band to get started. So I'll start with you. Are you satisfied with what you saw tonight? Yeah, uh, this is what I was looking for. You know, obviously you're always going to have little things to correct when you play against a, a Big Ten opponent. Um, but end-to-end -end performance, great in the, over the air. Not a lot of errors, no turnovers forced. Uh, a turnover stopped the other team in short yarded situations. Checks all the boxes for me. How about you? I've been a little more critical about what I've seen, and this time I get the defensive rotations. They still played everybody. They still stopped Indiana. Offensively, yeah, the running game wasn't so great. This team can pass protect. As Bruce pointed out in the middle of the game, Leah has a very high escapability quotient now. He can get away from the rush. When the Maryland receivers catch the ball, and that's probably my only negative on offense is a few drops, when they catch the ball, this could be unstoppable. And that's what brings up next week. Maryland does not maybe have the big guys, the linemen, to actually play Ohio State if it's a game in the trenches, Mason. But if this game is played through the air, you got a shot. And yeah. you got to have a shot because Bruce is right. Maryland probably has the better quarterback here. Yeah, I, th I think they definitely do in this game. And you're talking about an Ohio State team that struggled to score on offense, but Maryland has not fared well in Columbus. We'll see about that. I guess we'll have multiple shows throughout the week talking about that. We'll have the Young Terps recap if you want to hear more about this game than our podcast on Tuesday. And Wayne's show with Lamont will return uh, this week where they'll break down this one and look ahead to Ohio State. There's a lot to look forward to. Uh, one way or the other, it's been a great ride so far. The band's starting up. We have a coach's press conference to get to. We will see you throughout the week. Thanks for watching. This has been the Big Dog Postgame Show.